inoculating loop contains a loop at the end and it is used to inoculate microorganism in culture media. Inoculating wire does not contain a loop at the end and it is used to stab culture media like seam media. Both inoculating loop and inoculating wire are sterilized by red heat where they are heated on the flame of Bunsen burner till they turn red in color. Spirit lamp is used for heating small test tubes during flame test. Petri dish is used to prepare culture media. Glass lights is used to prepare smear like the smear of gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Concavity slides, they contain concave surfaces on the slide and this concave surfaces allow for hanging drop experiment for motility test. The sterilization of all glasswares is done in hot air oven. Here's your diamond pencil, which is used to write name on slides. Suppose you have a slide with a certain specimen right here and you want to write the name of this specimen on the slide. You'll do that using diamond pencil. Cotton swab is used to collect swab and it is sterilized by gamma radiations. Both candle jar and Macintosh filter jar are used to maintain anaerobic condition. So basically candle jar is used for anaerobiasis and Macintosh filter jar is used for anaerobiasis as well. However, candle jar is used to grow capnophilic bacteria and Macintosh filter jar is used to grow anaerobic bacteria. The difference between capnophilic bacteria and anaerobic bacteria is that capnophilic bacteria does not just require the absence of oxygen. It also requires a certain level of carbon dioxide. So inside candle jar, higher concentration of carbon dioxide is maintained so that capnophilic bacteria like Campylobacter jejuni and Helicobacter pylori can be grown. Anaerobic bacteria on the other hand are those bacteria that simply grow in the absence of oxygen. And this absent case where oxygen is removed from inside and some other gases like hydrogen is added in case of Macintosh filter jar to grow anaerobic bacteria like Clostridium. Incubator is a machine that is used to maintain optimum temperature, humidity and atmosphere in order to grow and maintain microbiological cultures and cell cultures. Centrifuge. Inside centrifuge, you put test tube with some medium, which is spun at a high velocity. And due to centrifugal force, the heavier particles, they settle down. The lighter particles, they remain at top. Water bath is used for sterilization of body fluids and vaccine. Autoclave. The principle of autoclave is that at a higher pressure, the boiling point of water is high as well. The latent heat of the steam of that boiled water is then used to kill bacteria. So bacterial killing by latent heat of steam under high pressure. The materials sterilized in autoclave are those materials that can burn. These materials cannot be sterilized in hot air oven because inside hot air oven, these materials, they would burn like culture media, except serum or egg medium. They are sterilized by tindalization. Unsoiled lenin. Lenin refers to dressings and unsoiled means not contaminated by feces, stool, urine, sputum, etc. Like gown, apron, towel, dressings, rubber materials. Then we have, sorry. Then we have hot air oven, the principle of which is coagulation and denaturation of cell proteins. In autoclave, water is used, the latent heat of steam is used. In hot air oven, water is not used. Electrical energy is converted to heat energy. That's why hot air oven. The materials used here are those materials that cannot be sterilized by autoclave or those materials that are affected by water. So glasswares, they can lose transparency by water. Oily fluids, water can mix in oil. Powder, water affects powder. Surgical instruments, 
they can become dull due to water. That's why these materials that sterilized by hot air oven.